Hello folks and welcome to Science Gym Labs. What I've got here for you today is a pulley system. I'm going to start with one simple pulley and then we're going to go with two and then three and see what happens. Start with one first. One pulley up here. We've got our load. Our load in simple machines is what we're going to lift. We want to lift something or move something. That's called our load. We've also got our effort. Our effort is what does the moving. The effort moves the load. All right? So, we have 40 pennies down here in the load. That's what we're going to try to lift. How many pennies is it going to take to lift 40 pennies? Well, let's give it a try. Here we go. One. Two. Oops. Three, four, five, six, seven. About 44 pennies it took to lift this load. Now the next thing we need to figure out is how far does the effort have to move to move the load. Let's take a look at that. What we're going to do here is move. I'm going to pinch this over here so I know where I started. I'm going to start over here by the very bottom of the pulley. I'm going to lift the load one foot. So that the bottom of the cup is one foot off the ground. And then I'm going to measure from the bottom of the pulley to where my finger is, is about one foot. Now let's go to the data table and take a look at what we found. So let's take a look over here, everybody. We've got a data table up here on the board. So how many pennies did we just lift? What was our load? It was 40 pennies. And how far did we lift it? We lifted it 12 inches or about 30 centimeters. Now let's take a look over here on the effort side. What effort did it take to have us lift that load? It took us 43 pennies to lift the load. And how far did it take? If we lifted the load 12 inches, we had to move the effort 12 inches. So if you take a look, the, uh, the one pulley doesn't really do us a whole lot of good. It takes us just about as much effort, in fact it took us a little bit more due to friction, to lift those pulleys into the air, and it took us about the same amount of distance to lift those pulleys in the air. So what good are pulleys? Well, let's take a look at two pulleys and find out. Alright folks, now we got two pulleys going here. Let me show you how I rigged this up because it's a little tricky if you want to try this at home. The first thing that you want to do is take this lower pulley and attach it directly to your load down here on the bottom. Okay. Then what you want to do is attach your string actually to the bottom of your upper pulley. The string is fixed. Okay. Now the string goes down around the lower pulley, up around the top pulley, comes around here and attaches to your effort like so. It's a little tricky. Take your time. Be patient. And you'll probably get it eventually. Now, here's what I got. 40 pennies in the bottom. The same as the first time. Up here right now, I've already put five pennies in here, otherwise the thing falls apart. But let's go from there. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, 24 pennies gets it to move. 24 pennies. Now, next thing we got to do is figure out how far do we need to make it move. So let's try it again. Gonna hold this up top here to get my load to lift one foot. Whoa, look how far I have to go. My effort needs to go about two feet. Let's go to the data table and take a look at this. All right, so back to the whiteboard here, our data table. Let's take a look at what happened. So with two pulleys, the number of pennies that we lifted, same as with one penny, 40 pennies. The distance that we lifted it, again, the same as before, 12 inches. All right, now let's take a look at the effort. This time when we lifted that weight, that load, it only took us 24 pennies. And this time when we lifted it, it took us 24 inches. See anything interesting about these numbers? It took about half, one half the number of pennies, one half the effort, 
to lift 40 pennies. However, it took twice the number of inches to lift it 12 inches. The distance doubled, the effort had. The old switchy doodle of simple machines, the less force you need to put in, the more distance you need to put in. That's what simple machines are all about. Let's try three pulleys and see what happens there. Hey folks, here I've got a triple pulley system going on, so let's see what happens. I've got a single pulley down here and I've got a double pulley going on up here. This is a little tricky to rig up, but I'll show you how I did it. What I did is I took this single pulley and I attached it directly to my load down here on the bottom. Then what I did is I attached the string, again tied it directly to the single pulley here. Took it up and around one of the double pulleys, down and around the single pulley, up and around the double pulley over here, and then attach it to my effort like so. Three pulleys doing three times the effort? Let's find out. All right, folks, so we got the load going on down here with 40 pennies in it just like before. The effort, I've already got five pennies in it just to get us started and keep it the string taut. So let's see what happens here. Five, six, seven, eight. 16 pennies gets the load to lift. Now, let's see what kind of distance we're talking about right now. Load to lift one foot off the ground, I had to lift the effort all the way off camera, way over here, about three feet far. Now, let's go over to the board, take a look at this. All right, so here we are back at the whiteboard. Let's take a look at what we just discovered. We found three pulleys, we lifted 40 pennies, we lifted it 12 inches, just like before. But it only took us about 17 pennies to lift it this time, and to lift it that 12 inches, we needed to go 30, 36 inches. So take a look. With, four, with three pulleys, it took us about a third the number of pennies to lift it. I know it was a little bit more, but you're talking friction in each one of the, in, in the string, you're talking friction in the pulleys itself, and so you're not going to get it to be a perfect number. So it wasn't quite a third, it's more than that. But give me a break, okay? We've also got over here, though, this is beautiful, it does indeed take three times the distance to lift that effort. To move, the pull, to move the load 12 inches. Now, if we take a careful look at this data, we can see something that's called mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage is how much a simple machine helps you. All right, so let's take a look. With one pulley, 40, 40 pennies, it took about 42 pennies to lift. It lifted the same distance. Basically, the mechanical advantage here was one. One to one, one to one, no difference there. However, with the two pulleys, it took half as much to lift 40 pennies up into the air. It took twice as much distance to lift those pennies up into the air. Okay? So what that means is the mechanical advantage of two pulleys was two. Half as much effort is what we needed to lift that load into the air. It helped us two times. Now let's take a look down here. If we take a look at this, it's about one third. If you give me a little bit of a break, this is about three times. All right. So, what do you think the mechanical mechanical advantage is of three pulleys? Yes, you guessed it. Three. Three pulleys help me three times to lift that load into the air. Ladies and gentlemen, simple machines, little switchy doodle between the distance and the force lets you lift things easier. And anything that lets me do a little bit less work, I'm all in favor for. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad you joined us here at Science Gym Labs. Have a great day. And remember, never stop wondering. So long.